In this final part of our web suite tutorial, we're going to take a brief look at some other features that web suite offers us. So we're going to start by looking at the HTTP history under the proxy tab. And here we can see uh, the history of all the requests that went through our proxy. So we can click on them. Uh, see the request on the left side and the server response on the right. And we can also view them in different formats. So we can change to hex view um, for the request as well as the response if we want that. And we can also render the response so we can actually see the web page in here. Then another feature is uh, the sitemaps that Burp Suite creates. It uses passive crawling to create these sitemaps and you can see here that uh, the different URLs of uh, different sites. And then if we click on them we can see all the stuff that Burp Suite has stored about this site. We're interested in that and gonna go back here to our history um, at any time when we select a request we can press ctrl r and send the request to the repeater as you can see or as you saw before this slides up orange so you know the request is sent to the repeater and if we click here we can see it we can send it get the response back and it's the same thing um, but now we can use the same request manipulate it um, if we want and send it back and um, this is a lot easier with repeater if we want to mess around with a request Another feature of Burp Suite is the decoder, which simply uh, encodes or decodes text into one of the available formats, uh, which we can see here. So you can URL encode it, for example, or use Base64 encoding. And to just show you how it works, um, can write something, this is, yeah, whatever. Uh, then we can select encode as base64. So we see this is the base64 encoded string. Um, and we could further encode it, for example, uh, URL encoding. So this is now the sentence first encoded as base64 and then encoded as URL string. Um, and now we can do the same thing in reverse. So we just select decode as URL and then we get our base64 string. We can again select decode base64 and we get back our initial sentence here. 